Welcome back, everybody. This is OmniTalk Retail coming to you live from NRF 2024 from the Fusion Group booth number 5420. I'm Ann Mazenga. And I'm Chris Walton. And we have two guests. This is our first time of the conference. First having quartet. Two, two <laughs> guests because we are we've gonna we're gonna dive in today some to some pretty exciting conversation. First next to me we have Shannon Wu LeBron of Blue Yonder and Pierre Marie Ralou. I'm trying my best that, French. I'm good. not. A, I'm Great not good. Sounds like you're straight from Paris. Yeah. I, thank you. Thank you. You. We've known each other for a while, so yes, I feel have. like I get some. I get some relief when I'm trying so hard to try to do, use French. But VP of Captana, welcome both of you to you. Uh, to Omnitalk today. Well, both of you are returning guests as well, right? Mm-hmm. We've had That's you on right. a show both really? of you before in the past. Yes. Yeah. We're never together. Yeah. No, yeah. no, first time together. together. But separately, better together, right? Yes. So that's always what they say. All right, Shannon, let's start with you, too. Why don't you explain for those maybe that didn't hear, hear our interview with you the first time around, who you are, your background, what it is you do at Blue Yonder? Sure. I'm uh, part of the retail industry team at Blue Yonder. And Blue Yonder, as many people know, is the supply chain technology provider for retail and consumer goods industry. We also serve other industries like manufacturing and third-party logistics, but retail and consumer goods are a big focus of our business, and we provide a lot of the supply chain software, uh, both on the planning side as well as execution for warehouse transportation and order fulfillment. A big part of what we do is to enhance shopper experience in the stores as well as online. Yeah, which is what we're going to talk about a lot here, that last part here in a few minutes. All right, Pierre, how about you? So I'm uh, with the Captana, which is the computer vision division of the Vision Group. Uh, the Vision Group is the number one in the world in digitalization of the physical store. So we focus on the store, we live in the store, and we make the store an asset, a digital asset for the retailers. Yeah, smart store. That's yes. a general a smart idea store. Here, right? But well, we tend to talk about the smart store of the future where it's just here. Yes, it is here. The smart store of the future is now. Yes, here. Uh, well, let's talk about that. Let's start with that. Um, Pierre-Marie, maybe I'll start with you. Tell us a little bit about how Blue Yonder and Captana and Vision Group are kind of working together. What are the elements that you're working on together to help create that smart store environment? Sure. Blue Yonder is a very large player in the retail space, in North America and in the world. Yes. And and, and working with Blue Yonder on many topics is fantastic. So as I mentioned, we focus on the in-store, the digital, uh, the digital uh, digitalization of the store, yes. and being able to work with Beyond as a partner uh, helps us to um, help our clients and retailers to take their data from the Beyond, their planogram, merchandising, replenishment, inventory, and even forecasting, and all those uh, all those topics that are very key to the retailers. Mm-hmm. And we actually bring the link between the physical store and all those uh, t- topics. So Shannon, yeah. Microsoft's a part of this too. Microsoft brought you guys together. There's a demo in their booth that you guys are showing jointly. Yeah. Explain, explain, explain what they, what those at NRF can see there right now that you guys are doing together. Yeah, absolutely. Both the Vision Group and Blue Yonder are big strategic partners to Microsoft, and we came together uh, to create this joint demo with the help of Microsoft, and it's really showing the capabilities of the Captana cameras and computer vision capability in uh, monitoring the store shelves in the retail store in real time to be able to detect any movement of the products on the shelf and then digitally comparing that to the planogram in the system uh, you, you know, using the Blue Yonder planogram software or category management software, doing that comparison in real time and then giving feedback to the store employees and the store managers to show them whether it's out of compliance or if there's any out of stock on the shelf. Yeah, yeah and, and maybe dive a little bit deeper into, and Pierre-Marie, maybe I'll have you do this, um, dive a little bit deeper into what I'm seeing as a store manager Absolutely. and how I could because I've been I've seen the technology live I've seen it seen the dashboards in Kavanaugh's uh, when we were there at the Bell Size Park store in London but I think it's really important for people to understand just how visually representative it is and how quick it is for anyone to pick up and see there are, there are multiple aspects to the planogram compliance when you do when you think about planogram compliance yeah, yeah. the business case are both corporate and the stores, the value is for the entire chain. So for example, you have business case such as the category resets. When, uh, when the merchants are creating a new planogram and send that to the store, yes. usually a store has a window, like two weeks, to execute it in the store. 
more corporate wise when you have hundreds or thousands of stores you never know if the planogram is actually executed in the right time frame in the store yeah. now they know we yes. bring that pictures we can tell them if they are in compliance and then once the once the planogram has been executed the planogram is it going to stay over time compliant? And right. what we, when you start measuring is the deviation between your original planogram and what your realogram actually shows you on a daily basis, weekly basis. Right. And this measure helps the merchants being able to, re, uh, to readjust their, their planograms, helps the stores to, bring, uh, to, to tell them, give them alerts and tasks to go and reassess and re uh, reshuffle the, the planograms. So both at the store and the corporate level. Yeah, and, and Shannon, talk a little bit too about the item data that's being collected too in order to better inform those planograms because it's not just you know seeing whether or not they're in compliance, but you're also, I imagine, able to get some information off the, the shelf labels that maybe you weren't before, is that true? Yeah, I think that's another huge area of opportunity okay. is to get the product information off of that, but also just inventory, right? Mm -hmm. Not just whether it's compliant, but you know, what are the actual inventories, number of products on the shelf. And the other thing uh, is the digitization of, of the shelf. Uh, as you mentioned, a lot of times, planograms are not created for individual stores. They're still right. for store clusters. Right. Now with this new technology and the integration, we can really get down to individual store location level and take into account of any of the specific requirements or that location specific um, nuances. Yeah, like I if there's a pillar in the middle of yeah, the shelf. Exactly. That's, right. just, that exactly. that's what I was just literally going to say. Yeah. I can remember as a store manager, there was a pillar in one of my shelves that no one at headquarters knew. Right. And it took me calling hours and hours and yeah. hours to get it fixed. Yeah. yeah. But that's, you know, but it's a real thing. But the other point you guys bring up too is that, you know, from the merchant side, having been a merchant and a store manager too, I got to tell you, compliance is most of the time, it's not like what you expect it to look like from a merchandising perspective. And this now is where the rubber meets the road on that. And it creates a new communication tool as well to have that conversation across headquarters with the merchants and the stores. And to your point, Shannon, it tells you what inventory is actually on the shelf over time too, because yep. the capacities, the dimensions in the systems might not always be correct and accurate as well. Yeah, historically, it's a one-way thing, right? People at headquarters create the planogram, send it down, right. people in the store needs to you know, adhere to it and set it up and all that. Now it's more collaborative. Yeah. And we're seeing that, and I think that's a big opportunity to really help improve. Yeah, the feedback the store. is starting through. Exactly. Which is great, exactly. Which has been needed for a really long time. In fact, Dan, we were talking last night where we haven't seen much on the presentation side right. of improving things in the technology, and this is great because this mm -hmm. is that. So, all right, so let's get you out of here on this. So, so where's it go next? Like, that's now. Where do you guys take this going forward, both of you? Well, if you look at the, uh, the Captain S solution, for example, and with the help of Blue Yonder integrating, we have been working on. Uh, digital twin uh, that are leveraging macro space, micro oh, wow. space, and the real life of the store. So when we talk about digital twin, originally they are very like theoretical. Yes. Now what we're doing is that with the help of the cameras, we're watching the actual shelf, we, you're in the digi a digital twin that match exactly what's in your store. So now you're in your store, on your footprint, digitally, but you can see what's actually on the shelf right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like what you said earlier about digital transformation of physical retail. I think that's what's happening and leveraging the digital twin that you talked about. We talk about the vision of autonomous supply chain and that includes the category management in the stores. So I can foresee a day where the real gram, the camera will capture you know, what's on the shelf, create a real gram that gets sent down and it creates that digital version of the planogram. Then it gets optimized by our systems and solution and sends it back down. So the true autonomous process. Yeah. Wow. The, the left, the right side brain merchant in me is going, oh my God, what's that going to look like when that day comes? But yeah, it's probably coming fast. All right, well, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you all, all of you who have been following along. We'll be back in not too long, a couple minutes, I think, again, with another yeah, update for you. Uh, we'll be here all day in the Vision Group uh, booth number 5420. Thanks again to them for making all of our NRF coverage possible. And until then, be, Be careful, careful out, out there. there.